Are you getting uncomfortable? No, that's just you getting turned on. Turned on by my hunter eyes. My predator eyes. <laughs> just kidding. Yesterday, I went through it all. I had a breakdown. And where were you? Where were you when you were needed? I found out that I have prey eyes. eyes. I'm not the hunter. I am the hunted. <laughs> the hunted. I have a negative cal- Sorry, one second. What was it called? A negative canthal tilt. An incorrect ratio of my palpebral fissure. It's over for me. Don't you understand? <laughs> hey, guess what we're talking about today? It's a little different. TikTok. All we talk about is TikTok. It's literally all you talk about. Shut what about it? <laughs> Listen, today we have to. I could not talk about this. So there's a new toxic beauty standard going around. This time it's for the men. What are you doing? Oh my god, no. No, please let me have him filming right now. That's not nice. Oh my god. Sorry, just give it a minute. Oh my god, do you want to sit here? Oh, but you can't. No, you can't sit here. Hey. No, but today is strange because it's a toxic beauty standard, yes, but this one's targeting the boys, and I've never seen anything like it before. It's this beauty standard that has been propagated by the black pill community. Yes, there's another pill. There's another pill. There's red pill, there's blue pill, now there's black pill. What the hell is black pill? Apparently it is this ideology that states your entire relationship and dating success relies solely on your physical attractiveness. Now since someone's dating success is measurable, the black pill community also thinks that their attractiveness should also be measurable. There's no beauty in the eye of the beholder. Beauty in the eye of the what? Beauty in the eye of the beholder. Beauty is subject. <laughs> You sound like you're in Delulu. Delusional. Black pill followers just think you're either hot or you're not. And so they've devised a few ways for you to become hot and a few measurements that help you tell if you're not. And those ways somehow landed on my For You page last night. <laughs> <laughs> this shit, positive cancel tilt, negative cancel tilt. Just be confident, bro. I don't know what this meant, but it's something about, I guess, this guy looking hotter than this guy, which is like absolute, like, bullshit in my opinion, <laughs> but sure. Hammer and face. What could it mean? Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. These eyes are wrong. These eyes are correct. What, what are your eyes? <laughs> wrong eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong eyes. You don't stand a chance, bro. You have a negative cancel tilt. It sounds crazy because it is. It is a school of thought brought about by people who are chronically online. Now this TikTok, the guy who made it, is Ethan. Ethan is a black pill follower and a looks maxing slash self-improvement mog champion. Looks maxing is not a bad concept, okay? It's basically achieving the best sort of physical state that you can be in. Is that bad? Not at all. Like, think think of some good ways you can, like, become the best version of yourself appearance-wise. Get a good haircut, right? Brush your teeth. Have proper hygiene, you know, like, shower, Shower maxing, dental hygiene maxing, go to the gym, good habits. You can think of other ways in the comments if you'd like to add your thoughts. But <laughs> Ethan has better ways. Looks matter. Hashtag bone smashing. Bone smash. And he shows you once again the eye, the canthal tilt, positive, neutral, negative. What kind of canthal tilt do you have? This is the ideal predator hunter eyes. And he's explaining here with the right angles and the geometry of the eye. Well, here you got incel, pretty boy, and slayer. You need to be slayer. Slay! You know what you need, Ethan? You don't need looks maxing. You need to go outside. You need to see the sun. Take the black pill. Start looks maxing. Bam. Oh. This is what you gotta look like. This is what a pathetic negative cancel tilt dude looks like. Oh, look at the look at that. Oh, look at the difference. And once again, there's a strange diagram of a hammer pointing at this handsome dude's face. What could it mean? Hold the thought. It's a lot worse than whatever you're thinking, okay? But hold the thought. Because again, he's showing you how you can look smacks. 
your brow ridge, your deep set eyes. Like these are things like, what am I supposed to do? Like pro squint maxer. You have to learn how to squint if you want to look ma look max. Always squint. The black pill community thinks you should squint. Look, your pepperal pe fissure. Always squint. Oh my God, what is all of this? Most common phalos. Negative canthal tilt. Upper eyelid. I can see it. Dark circles. Are those round eyes? Squint. Look, look there. <gasps> is that a recessed brow ridge? My breakfast almost came back up. Just looking at your repulsive negative canthal tilt and your absolutely repulsive recessed brow ridge. You, I've lost my appetite. Just looking at that exposed upper eyelid. So, are we realizing how ridiculous it all sounds right now or not yet? Again, the black pill ideology believes that only looks matter. All right, nothing else matters. And so they really have to nitpick at looks and appearance to be able to justify why some people are more successful than others. And they found those reasons to be in your eyelids, in your brow ridge, and the way you have a disgusting negative canthal tilt. Somebody sat there, grabbed a protractor, and measured the canthal tilt only to find out that they had no chance. It was a negative canthal tilt. And once again, this is a third TikTok. It ends with this, a hammer and some dude's face. What the hell does that mean? Could it mean that you are so frustrated at people who look good, you wanna bash their faces in? No, but it's pretty close. <laughs> it's not about bashing other people's faces in. It's about bashing your own face in. It's bone smashing. I'm sorry, what? Yes. Apparently there is a practice that I think started off as a meme. I just smash your bones and now people are actually smashing their bones to achieve what black pill looks maxers are suggesting you achieve. They want to turn you from this to this. Somebody thought breaking the bones on their face was going to do it. You don't believe me or like there's no way there's no way we have become that dumb as a people, right? No, we have. Hola a todos. Vamos a hacer una actualización de rutina de bones He's trying to break his face with a dumbbell. Tener siempre en cuenta and the black pill looks max our communities in his comments. Some dudes like, "Hey, I wouldn't do it anywhere near your upper teeth in case you break the roots." So we're trying not to break the roots, but we're fine breaking the face. Yeah, I know. I do it at my own risk to get my nose straighter. Are y'all... Bro, I say this out of care for you. Don't... Do that! Don't do that to actually think disfiguring your face is going to make your nose straighter. Have you damaged any nerves yet? Only weaken them. I doubt that's going to happen, but sure, I'll let you know if it does. <coughs> Have you taken a minute to listen to yourself? Have you taken a minute? Have you weakened any nerves? What? You are literally damaging. You are destroying yourself. And for what? For a thing that literally doesn't work, like, you it's so mortifying, it is, but I can see every four mornings, time lapse in which I do this, after hitting myself the night before how my face has changed for the better? No, hey, your face is not changing for the better. Will it take away the hump on my nose? Depends on each nose. If your bump is too big, it may not fully work. This technique is useful to raise the tip a bit. He's a self-proclaimed doctor who's beating his face to change how it looks. How many months for results? Depends also of how hard you hit and what type of tool you're using, obviously. Obviously, like, what results? Disfiguring? Bruises? Broken bone? What, what results are we going for here? How painful is it? Today, after a year, I hit really hard and don't really feel pain no more. Bone just got accustomed. You cannot be serious. This is extremely concerning. In fact, this is actually psychopathic. Elaborate. Must we really? Well, you're beating yourself with a dumbbell. What elaboration do you need? You are disfiguring yourself. This carries the same amount of concern, you know, as back when size zero was the rage and people would just go through these kind of ED and really, really hurt themselves to achieve a certain 
beauty standard. Looks maxing is supposed to be about achieving the best physical version of yourself. How is harming yourself doing that? Excuse me. Like he is, he is genuinely a good looking guy. All right. What drove him? to a point of no return for self-love, where he thought it would be a good idea to, to break, break his, his facial, facial bones. bones. And he thinks he's achieving a look. Hey, bone smashing doesn't work. It's disfiguring you. Bone smashing is a dangerous and completely unhealthy and wrong practice. And I can't believe we have to talk about it, okay? But we've gotten to a point where boys are thinking, I don't like my face to such an extent I am willing to break it. And if you feel like you have crossed a point of no return for self-love, like there's an aspect in yourself that you just cannot ever see yourself accepting, there are cosmetic options. There are medical procedures, cosmetic options that have nothing to do with you actually harming yourself. And I thought it was just one dude, but no. They're attributing the changes to their face to this thing they're doing, bone smashing. When in reality, here's a list of things he did to change his mealing, chewing, bone smashing, and all these things. The only thing that really matters here is probably just Jim. But he forgot one important, important thing that really changed him. <laughs> Puberty. Puberty. It's called growing up, goddammit. You got all these dudes doing it too, like, before bone smashing. After. Literally, literally, handsome Squidward. <laughs> now, this is satire, you know, because, like, obviously, you know, he doesn't actually think. This is just puberty, you know. But then look at the energy in the comments. Prey eyes and negative cantle tilt, please. You think you're hot? I see those prey eyes. Okay, hey, I measured you negative cantle tilt. Your pal palpebral, your palpebral. Richard didn't like it. Richard got mad. He said, face reveal? <gasps> yeah, let me see you. Not with those innocent eyes. I'd love to see what you look like. <laughs> like, I'm not sure. Like, is Richard poking fun at the whole bone smashing thing? Because it's like unhealthy and it's... Or is he actually a practicer? If I can't tell. The energy he's carrying in those comments sounds like he's pretty butthurt when people say he's got prey eyes. If somebody came up to me and said, you don't stand a chance, you have a negative cancel tilt and prey eyes. Dude, you have to go out some more. I don't know, make some friends. You ever seen the sun? Like, honestly, like, what the actual hell? Talk about overthinking. This guy's like, more proof that bone smashing and looks maxing is going to be, look at this. You do bone smashing and looks maxing, like, uh, you like start beating yourself up so you look more handsome. There's a whole Reddit page. Is bone smashing legit? It is legit, I tried and it worked. I smashed only the, oh my God. Do y'all think people who go into boxing and like break their nose while they're in the ring. Do you think they're walking out of that with a straighter nose? Like what's going on? Or this one. Ethel Janet has a lot of potential for your looks. Yeah, I'm 15, so I might. Where, where is, where is, where are, where are your parents? Do not do that. Do not do that. If you're 15, you can go to the gym. Wait till you hit puberty. Okay, glow up the right way. Pick up good habits. This is bad advice. You'll destroy yourself. Don't do it. This is so dumb. Do other things. I don't know, mew, you know? I never thought we'd be at a place where, you know, you'd have to point this, such obvious things out. Like, it's, wi it's wild. Who would have thought we'd be here telling people not to smash their face? It's very sad. Uh, final thoughts. I'm not, I'm not telling you to just be confident, bro. Just be confident, bro. I'm not telling you to just be confident. I think confidence definitely makes you very attractive, but I think confidence is something you have to earn for yourself. You know, you can't just wake up one morning and decide you're gonna be confident. No, confidence is a process that you earn for yourself. Confidence is you going to the gym to feel better about yourself. It's you watching out for your health. It's you smelling good. It's you dressing well. It's about you feeling good about yourself. And if you feel like you are at a place where you cannot feel good about a certain part of you, like your negative cancel tilt. Although I'm sorry, like that's a little bit much. You're that unhappy with how you're, you look. Smashing your face in is not the answer. I would much rather, as a last resort, have you go and get something cosmetically done. If you feel it was, is that necessary? If you feel the need to smash your face in, you know?
Wow, this literally just happened to be on the drink that I'm drinking right now. Like, that's wild. I am bewildered. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below. And I want you to imagine right now that there is a guy who is looking at your comment or whatever comment you choose to write. And that person is so unhappy with their appearance, they are willing to do what, whatever this is. What would you tell them? I've said my piece. You can go ahead and say yours. Let's see what your thoughts are. And yeah, share your two piece. Let's get the con let's get the discussion going. Let's get the conversation going. And what do you even think of the black pill ideology? Do you think that in dating and relationships, all that matters is your looks? They think it doesn't matter if you have a shit personality, you know? Like obviously that can't be true. You know? There's a lot more to it. It's really not like I don't even need to say this. It's so stupid. Like there's a lot more to it than looks. You don't f***ing say. I thought it was just looks, really. I thought we were just gonna, like, breed. Is that what your relationships are? These people are so chronically online. Looks maxers and mog, mog. What, what is a mog? A mog is a, is a guy that oversizes you. <gasps> you are an ant. I love you. Where did this go? Where, where, where are we? These terrible ideas are getting into people's heads, and now people are actually implementing them into their routines. Like, can we not? You wanna look max? Have some vitamins, like me. Get a nice trim, get yourself a nice new outfit. Get you some friends, you know, they can help you. They can make you feel good about you. You know, I saw this really interesting study. It said, we always underestimate how much people like us. Apparently, people like you a lot more than you think they do. The people who you share your company with, you know? Those people enjoy your company a lot more than you think they do, always. It has always been the case that we underestimate how much people like us. Our colleagues, our classmates, our friends, our partners, our everybody. I think it's because we as people are very analytical and we do overthink. We do, but hey, people like you. People like you a lot more than you think. I'm gonna leave you with that thought. But that was pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. I thought it was an important topic to discuss because I interacted with one video, and now it's all over my For You page. But that was it, guys. Um, see you.